Like Paris, Brussels is a strong reminder of why we need to hasten the defeat of ISIL wherever it exists in the world. And some new actions we've taken in just the last few days. First, we are systematically eliminating ISIL's cabinet. Indeed, the U.S. military killed several key ISIL terrorists this week, including, we believe, Haji Iman, who was an ISIL leader, senior leader, serving as a finance minister and who also is responsible for some external affairs. This is the second senior ISIL leader we've successfully targeted this month. Our campaign plan is first and foremost to collapse ISIL's parent tumor in Iraq and Syria, focusing on its power centers in Raqqa and Mosul. In Syria, motivated local forces that we support recently took the town of Shadadi, repelled ISIL's counterattacks, and ultimately severed the main artery between Syria and northern Iraq. And as a result, it's become much harder for ISIL's leaders and forces to travel between Raqqa and Mosul. Second, we targeted Abu Sara, one of the top ISIL leaders charged with paying fighters in northern Iraq. Next, we targeted a number of ISIL associates who were directly involved in external plotting and training. And these precise actions came after recent strikes that destroyed a significant quantity of improvised explosive devices and bomb-making equipment that could have been used against our partners headed for Mosul. We believe these actions have been successful and have done damage to ISIL. As Chairman Dunford noted earlier this week, the momentum of this campaign is now clearly on our side. 